Hi everyone, Bob is here from Dublin Sports Injury Clinic. Today I'm going to show you a couple of exercises in terms of how can you manage your knee injury. If you had a fall, if you had a twisted knee, or if you bang your knee to the wall and it's swollen now and it doesn't move that well, and it's kind of like a little bit kind of uncomfortable when you walk around. Now you can start this uh, rehab protocol from the day after or even the, the same day. Let's go through the mobile one. one. The first thing that you can guys do straight away, even after the injury, you can start to do some self-massage. Now, I have some sort of cream here. You can use olive oil, any type of oil that you have at home, just basically around the area. And if you find out there is certain area that is sore, don't actually bother those areas. Let them to be alone. And you try to work around your knee and like create some sort of like circulation and as you can see, I'm not really focusing in one place. Now, this kind of like massage, what it does, it helps you to actually reduce the sensitivity of your, your knee um, initially. And as you can see, I go up to my thigh muscles, the back of the my, my um, muscles, um, basically hamstring muscles, my calf muscles, the shin muscles, and I'm not really staying in one place. I work around that for 10, 15 minutes while I'm sitting. And if I can actually um, do some sort of like gentle movement as I'm doing the massage, I'll try those and I'll try to massage it in a different, different stages. Give it a try guys and you find this really helpful. The second exercise guys that you can do right away, it's active range of movements of your knee. Literally you're trying to um, basically bend your knees and bring it up and bring it down. Now if you find that this exercise can be a little bit sore you don't need to go for a full range you can go as far as you can and come back to the initial state which means you're trying to do as far as you can which is pretty normal in in the first few days because you just had an injury and in some cases due to the swelling of your knee actually that can be um, pretty kind of like difficult for you to move it you know but we try to just create some sort of movement as far as you can you don't want to bother your knee and get that movement as as fast as possible now as you can see i'm going to show you in two different ways i'm not going for a very quick movement i'm trying to just bring the knees up slow control down up and down and again if i can feel it okay here it gets sore i don't go above that i stay there work around it and I just create some sort of movement. You can try this exercise for let's say three sets of eight to 10. If you find that it's easy, more focus on your range and slowly progress that. Awesome. The following exercise guys, um, I'm going to show you how can you um, strengthen your hamstring um, with a very simple equipment. You need a kitchen towel or any type of towel that you have, small, um, and um, I'm gonna show you how to um, use this and strengthen your hamstring in the early stage of your basically knee you have. But you want to know um, what is the purpose of um, strengthening our hamstring. Uh, we basically want to strengthen all the muscle around the knee. Uh, and, and that could help you to recover quicker because if they get stronger, you actually can uh, rely on those muscles and they can help you to actually move easier. Let's give it a try and can give it a go. Now I'm gonna show you from two different angles. Initially I'm gonna show you from here. You basically see that you're trying to engage with your heel, then go a little bit back, just like that. You're trying to, again, go to the range that you feel comfortable. And as you can see, um, I'm basically engaging some of the hamstring. You can relax the other knee, slow control. If you push the knees more, uh, basically, um, like the heels more towards the ground, you can get more engagement of your hamstring. Now, as you can see, I'm going for a partial range. I'm not going for full range. If you find it comfortable, you can go for all the way down, slow control back. Now, I'm gonna show you from the other side. You can see in both ways, I'm relaxing my back, pushing through the heel, and back again. Slow control, and back again. Now, as, as I mentioned on the first, um, the second exercise, uh, you don't wanna push the knee too much. If you find you can only do up to here and coming back is actually difficult, you can do partial range. Go for a partial range until the knee feels better and you can slowly progress it. Same as the second exercise, you can try it for um, three sets of eight to 10, slowly build it up guys. Give it a go. 
The last exercise that you can do at home, uh, guys, um, you probably know by now that I'm a big fan of um, squats. They can help you to um, just move the knee and strengthen the knee at the same time. Now, if you haven't done the squats before or feel uncomfortable with them, you can start with the seated squat, which means uh, just pick up, sit, and you don't need to go even all the way down and just have that as a support. And I'm gonna show you from the other side as well, which is kind of like you trying to basically slow and control. If you find to, you're going all the way up, it's sore, don't go all the way up. And if you find actually coming down is, is, is when you're going for a deep squat, it's difficult, don't go all the way down and touch the table. Just have that as security if you lost your balance. Now, if you find this is easy, how can you progress this? You can actually, don't use a table. Now, to progress this, um, I have some yoga um, basically block here. You can use this initially if you find that you're losing your balance. They're pretty handy. If you don't have these guys, you can use towel or even a book underneath of your heel and you're trying to get that basically balanced. As you can see, I don't shift my body forward, I sit back on my heels. I'm, I'm doing this, let's say, for a partial move. I'm not going all the way down to here, coming back. I'm gonna show from the other side. Like literally, you're trying to keep the knees slightly wider than the shoulder and slow control down. As you can see, I'm pushing through the heels, both heels, but my foot is on the ground as well. So control down and coming back. Now, uh, this exercise can be a progression maybe after you find out actually you, your knee has a good range of movements and the swelling is down. Now, we do have um, a two protocol as well, guys, in our website, police protocol and avoid harm. I'm gonna put the link underneath of this uh, video. Take a look at those. Definitely follow those basically protocol while you're doing this rehab protocol. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you uh, have any question, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. We have a bank of exercises that can help you to recover quicker. All the best.